Here we're using mass density to find mass or volume. So we have a chemistry student that needs 20 grams of glycerol for an experiment. The student discovers that the density of glycerol is 1.26 grams per cubic centimeter. Calculate the volume of glycerol the student should pour out. So let's list our givens here and figure out our unknown. We are given a mass of 20.0 grams. We are given a density value of 1.26 grams per cubic centimeter. And they want us to find a volume. Well, do we know an equation that relates mass, volume, and density? Yes. Density is equal to mass divided by volume. Now, as it is written, this will not help us to find volume. But we can rearrange this and manipulate this formula to solve for volume. Let's do it here. So density is equal to mass divided by volume. We multiply both sides by V. So volume cancels here. And we have, we have mass is equal to volume times density. Volume times density is equal to mass. Let's divide both sides by density to cancel density out on that side. And we end up with volume is equal to mass divided by density. Perfect. So now we've manipulated the equation to solve for volume. And we also have these other unknowns. So let's look. We have the mass. We have the density. We can find the volume. Now we simply plug in our givens to solve for the volume. The volume is equal to the mass divided by the density, which is... 20 grams divided by 1.26 grams per cubic centimeters. When I look at my units, grams is going to cancel, and my answer will be some value with the units of cubic centimeters. When I place this into the calculator, the answer that I get, rounded to three significant digits, is 15.9. So this would be my answer. So if the student wants 20 grams of glycerol, the student needs 15.9 cubic centimeters or milliliters of glycerol.